Hi everyone, this is Jana with designlead.net. Today I'm doing a review of a wireframe software called Balsamic at balsamic.com. Basically what it is, is a sketch type software where you sketch out a mock-up or a, a wireframe to show your clients what their project, their um, website or uh, software is going to look like so they don't even have to look at colors and you know gradients and stuff like that that usually distracts from um, placement of things on a particular website or a program so let me tell you or and show you how this great program works I'm gonna do a mock-up of a website that I'm doing for a client let's start with looking at this quick ad where you can find any control quickly so I'm gonna look for a browser window here we go I'm gonna center my window and size it. As you can see in the middle, it shows you the size of the window that you can use. You can stretch it like I just did, or over here in a helpful control panel, you can go ahead and type in the exact size that you need, which is really, really helpful. Okay, now we have the window that we need. You can fully customize it by showing your client that you're working on their website. Okay, let's get started for the intersection. I'm going to need a navigation bar. So let's start with a toolbar with the buttons. Just go ahead and drag it. And we can type in what's going to show up on a navigation bar right in here. Okay, so this is really good because it doesn't have any colors, anything that distracts your um, client or the group that you're working with. and. Uh, they're just purely looking at placement, at the navigation system. So this this is great, you know, this the sketch the sketch look. Also I wanna have um, the links, so let's look for links, link bar. And this link bar we can go on top because this is the secondary, you know, this is primary, secondary. So they could stay up here. Let's add a search. Search box can go right underneath. And size it. And we want to make sure so that this is lined up. And again, Balsamic takes care of that. So let's um, um, hold shift. And again, Balsamic works with all your keyboard shortcuts. So see right now, I held shift and it's together so now let's do space out horizontally okay space is correct and let's see we want to align to the top so align top there we go so now it's lined up now let's go ahead and see what we're going to put in the middle well, that's going to be the main image for the home page so let's pull up an image box We have an image box right here and let's size it to the size that we want. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring up an image. Let's double click and browse for an image. Let's put this one in. Ooh, Jenny looks bloated. Better, much better. So when I brought it in, the image automatically stretches to the box that is um, the, the, the one that we placed, the one that we created, and we didn't want to do that So because it distorted the image. So now for the best thing that I want to show you, and really cool, sketch it. Now your image is a sketch. This shows the client that this is this is a rough. They don't pay attention to colors. They don't look at, you know, their own images are you know not perfect. They're not picking at it. All we're doing is doing the wireframe, the mock-up, so the client looks at the navigation, the you know the placement of of items. 
So for example, in here, you know, you want the client to look at, you know, do they want these nav bars to be in this order or do they want the search on right here? Is anything missing? Oh, let's put a search. We want to have a go button or something like that. So let's grab a button and we can go ahead and add a go button. Here we go. And let's continue. Let's find what else we can put right here. Oh, let's add this big title right here. Big title could be celebrity style. Oh, here we go, some text. So I can do knitwear. Put it right here and let's style it, I mean size it. So now we have celebrity style knitwear. Something still looks like it's not finished, something that we need to enclose it. So let's take this rectangle screen and see what we can do. Let's size it. But as you can see right now, it's going on top of the images that we just chose. So we can actually send it back, send to back. And then we're gonna bring it forward one time. Here we go. Let's move Jenny a little bit. Perfect. So now we have our, let's uh, hold shift and um, group it together. Okay, and we can add other promotional items here and we can add actual products here. So there's a lot, a lot of things to play with and organize any way that you want to organize your website. Very, very easy to do. Uh, let me show you another thing that I wanted to show you. Now we want to work in a gallery so I can select this and click on here and select the gallery button. So now it shows that we're working in the gallery and we want to find the cover flow as they call it so we can showcase that we're working on a gallery section hold shift then we can zoom in i can actually add an image in here so again i'm gonna go ahead and find an image and let's take this one right here and again jenny our model looks bloated, looks squished, doesn't look right. So let's see if we can um, fit her correctly. It doesn't look like there's a way for the cover flow to, to work with the images and fit it correctly. So Balsamic has to work on it and see what they can do and they actually they're adding new things new features every tuesday so go ahead and keep coming back to their website balsamic.com and look at their blog to see what else they've added so for now let's go ahead and sketch the image and now we can see jenny doesn't look so bad because it's sketched and client understands that you know this is just a sketch and it's not going to be perfect this is about placement so let's um, add a scroll bar a slider so you know people can slide through the images and um, also you could add you know the items the ones that appear on the list uh, on the on the top so people can see what else is, you know, they can choose from here. And you can add more description, you can, uh, there's there's a lot that you can do right here. And uh, I want to thank you very much for um, following and looking at this uh, review. If you have any other additional things that you want to add, please go ahead and add those to the comments below. Thank you.